This is about to become a shoe. For I am in a traditional Dutch wooden steam shoe factory. Did I get that right? Yeah, you get it right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this man is going to give us a tour of his awesome shop where he yeah. makes wooden shoes the, the traditional Dutch way. Yes. Okay, come. So let's begin. So this was in water, why was that? That's to make it uh, soft. We use fresh wood and um, when the wood is, uh, when you keep it wet, it stays soft and that way I can cut it. It, it looks, dries out, I can't cut it anymore like this. It looks difficult. Have you ever kind of chipped your finger? Luckily not. Never? <laughs> no. But it's not my first time I do this, so... Like. So what size shoe will this be? It's gonna be the size for a two-year-old kid. So, so I can't wear that one. No, too small for the bus. But I will, I will go outside later then. The, the shop, this is out back. This is the workshop. I will go in there then and buy um, a shoe fit for me, size 43. I think I wear. I got that one already made. So. All right. So this is just for demonstration purposes. Yes. Okay. I'm uh, finished with the wood. And like I uh, said, it's wet. Uh, and what kind of wood we use is uh, it's poplar wood. And we use it fresh because then it's easy to cut. And when it is dry, it's also very lightweight. And uh, most important, it becomes water resistant. Because that is the main reason why uh, people in the Netherlands use it. it uh, that was my next question because I've been thinking all day who the hell would wear wooden shoes? But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a moist country here, it rains a lot morning dew and then especially farmers they need to walk in the fields and then you don't want your feet wet so it's uh, awful and uh, wooden shoes still keep the feet warm and dry so this is in the days before concrete roads and so on they, they yeah, would wear yeah, this yeah. in the fields they wear it in the fields and also if you have animals uh, for example when i walk on my farm la, 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 la. and then oh, a nice walk a cow, yeah <laughs> a cow comes by <laughs> Uh, that's not the best example, but... <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I think you meant that normally it wouldn't crack. No, normally it wouldn't, but... Uh, you were too strong. Yeah, but the thing is, it's pre pretty safe, right? Okay, so See? these shoes were not only water resistant, yeah, they were cow resistant. Cow resistant, and... This seems to me to be the perfect shoe for India then. Because there's cows everywhere in yeah, India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They walk around everywhere. <laughs> okay, um... They used to make it all by hand back in the day. We take knives like this, put it in the outside of the shoe, and then uh, spoons and drills like this for the inside. Uh, yeah, that takes a lot of time. I see. Yeah. How, how many hours would go into to, to turning this into the type of shoe that you just cracked? Um, yeah, by hand it would take about three hours. Three hours. Three hours, yeah. Oh, that's not bad. For yeah. one one shoe, then you have to make the other. Yeah, for a pair of shoes. So that's pretty fast, right? <laughs> how, how do you make it's the pair? It's going to be a longer video this time. It is. I usually make 20-minute 20, 20 videos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so how do you make the shoes match then? Are they kind of like approximate the size? Yeah, if you I do mean, it by hand, that's the hardest thing. To make a left and a right exactly the same. With machine, it's a different story. So these are kind of the modern, the modern way to... Uh, yeah, modern, modern, but still over 100 years old. We got machines here. Uh, so with this one, you would continue uh, either by hand, yeah, using using this one. Yeah. Okay, first, I shave the whole outside with uh, with this knife. And then you you hollow it out yeah. using this. Yeah. yeah. But and then I start with smaller ones, and you work your way to the bigger spoons. I see. And using these ones. You, there's a faster way, is there? It's a part. This can be done in five minutes. Uh, these are the two machines I'm uh, currently using. This one is for the outside of the shoe. And the other one is for the inside. And the nice thing about these machines is that they're really old. It's the first generation of uh, wooden shoe making machines. They're from 1906. And uh, back then there was no electricity to run the machine with. So how did they do it with uh, a steam engine like that? 
big in, big steam engine and uh, it looks like a train it looks like a train but uh, it won't drive anywhere all right let's <laughs> go and investigate <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what year is this from then? This one is really ancient. Yeah, it's from 1913. And uh, it's um, a yeah, steam engine from Germany. It builds a pressure that can make these pistons uh, turn. That makes the big wheel turn over here. And you have a belt going here to the shaft. All that just for this little belt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at every time it goes from a big belt, a big wheel, to a small wheel. And every time you do that, you build up more speed. And here again, I got belts back to my machines. And that's just the way that you did it 100 years ago. And uh, we like to do it that way. And why we, why we do it like that, you think? I don't know, so that, so that we, us, you know, tourists will come here and buy wooden shoes? To, yes, of course. Because this, this looks way cooler than it does. just pushing a button. It uh, does, it looks amazing. <laughs> Okay, uh, how does this machine work? Um, this machine works uh, similar like copying a key. It's uh, a copying machine. I see. So I just, uh, I have a mold here. And again, from the same wheel, the machine over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, all connected to the big engine. And then now it runs free, but I can pop shift it that way. And then uh, it will stop. But here I have the mold. This one is, uh, I'm gonna copy. This is the guide. It feels where the mold is. Okay. And, uh, it is in connection with a wheel with knives. And there's, they go parallel from each there's other. There's knives in there. Yeah, yeah. These things are uh, sharp knives. Just tell me when I should move my hands and yeah, face away. No, it's not turning now. <laughs> ah, are you? Let, let's see then uh, okay. how this one works. Uh, so uh, this one feels here. And this one cuts away exactly where this one feels. I put the block of wood here, and this mold, they will whoop, rotate. If they go in the same direction, I get an exact copy of the mold, so a right shoe. I can also oh, make a. So you are able to, to yeah. then make the exact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same when I do it with the machine, I can make the left and the right exactly the same. So that is awesome. That's a nice thing about this. Okay, I think... Uh, that, that's it? Should we then go, go shopping in your main... I think uh, we should make a shoe, right? All right, make a shoe. Make, make a, a shoe. shoe. Yeah. Let's see it in action. You know me, Karen. I just want to go shopping, but... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fine by me. But, uh, I think your viewers like to see... Uh, they do. A wooden shoe being made. Properly fastened. All it's right. still wet, right? Yeah, it's still wet. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down. And then we're gonna go full throttle. <laughs> All right, here we go.
That is unreal. We have two shoes. Or no, we have the, the mold of a shoe. Yeah, yeah. This is the mold and this one I made. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy, yeah, that's it, the water. Ah, it, uh -huh. it weighs a lot more than I thought. Maybe okay. kilo, maybe yeah. two. It's like 70, 60 to 70 percent of the weight now is water. I it see. gets much lighter. And then what do you do? You dry it or do yeah. you continue? We, we dry it. We let it dry in a drying room. But that's later. Now we still uh, yeah, need something here. The next step is to hollow it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is done by hand. No, nope, no. Nope. Again, machine. Again, a machine. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> also, a really old machine. Yet. But yeah, they already knew 100 years ago how to do this the easy way. Okay. Here we go again. Are we going to turn the, turn the power on again? Yeah, we're going to turn the power on. Okay. Again. I'm watching, I don't know what's going to move here, so I'll stand here. Yeah, probably, yeah, and then you know, the steam engine is going to go uh, It's going to be spinning around. And then this machine will turn on. It's even got a whistle as well. Oh, it's going to be louder. Loud. It's going to be pretty loud. Louder than this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm yeah, ready. I'm ready. Ready, yeah, ready. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh man! Woo. Where was that from? Oh, it's from this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I oh man! You do this to everyone or just me? No, just you. <laughs> as if my hearing yeah, wasn't wasn't bad enough already. <laughs> Hold on, something on the lens. Yes, look. I thought Danny Filth had destroyed my hearing, but no. <laughs> <laughs> the inside is now done. That as is well. amazing. What does it weigh now? It's Maybe a, a bit lighter. Yeah. I should put it on a scale to know that. I will say less than a kilo now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is a good thumbnail with uh, with the light from there. Amazing. All right. Now uh, I just need to cut off these ends because this uh, don't belong to the shoe. And this it could be a new style, like a new fashion. Yeah, you could do that. Well, yeah. No. Better not. You better don't not. think it's going to catch on? <laughs> so I do do this by hand, and this is still done by hand because you can cut around with this one. When you do this with the machine, it goes straight and then you have more sanding to do. And then it takes you longer. There you go. Well done. How many shoes have you made? A lot. <laughs> like a lot. by estimate. Yeah. Thousands. Thousands. You probably see that this is not my first time. No. Right. You kind of look like you have this down to a, to a T. Exactly how to do this. Uh, well, it's finished. Ta da! That is amazing. Uh, yeah, but yeah, you already noticed it's wet, so it needs to dry for two weeks. 
for two weeks, and then you kind of you uh, you polish it a bit. Yeah, yeah. Then like it gets you, sanded. You, you sand it down. And it can be painted if you like. And, and then uh, I like red shoes. It. You like wet shoes? Red, red. <laughs> red shoes. <laughs> not, not wet shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so all of these up here then, what is what is going on up here? Is this your your um, your models or Yeah, these are here just for decoration. Oh, I and see, I stock, see. Our stock tanks here. And the drying we do in a drying room where, uh, So this is not where you dry them, like no, all these, these shoes. These are already here. dry and uh, ready to uh, restock the shop. That was amazing. Yes, you're I welcome. think now yes. I'm ready to do some shopping. Yeah, you can do some shopping. Could, Finally, could, could you help me pick out like the perfect shoe for <laughs> yes, me? Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs> one thing, uh, if you put wooden shoes on, it's always important that you can fit one finger extra behind your heel. They, no, no, they won't it? stretch like normal shoes. Okay. Do you get? Do you have a problem with your like when I bought these shoes and these are Asics? I mean, I had, I get like like wounds, you know, yeah. inside. Uh, like blisters. Yeah, blisters. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. On the wooden because shoes. Because they fit big. It's like a slipper. It walks a bit like a slipper. Oh. You do this with your toes to grab onto the shoe. Awesome. Uh, and we wear it with thick wool, thick wool socks. So if I walk so. like this in Amsterdam, people be like, "Wow, look at that local." Uh, nah, in Amsterdam <laughs> probably not. It's <laughs> more a countryside. Ah, uh, okay, okay. People when they have gardens, they use it. They use it in the garden and in the fields. And people in Amsterdam, they don't have gardens uh, most of the time. No, just so. just canals and concrete. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, awesome. Okay, yes. uh, can we uh, go out to the shop then? Yes, Which way? Sure. This way. I'm looking forward to this. My first ever pair of wooden shoes. I, I just so we leave this room. I mean, it's just more machines and some uh, some old equipment. Yeah, it's the hand tools. If you really make it by hand, you need all this. But in a couple of hours, you could you could make a pair by hand even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but you said, was it three? Three hours. But the thing is, I can make a shoe by hand, but the more difficult thing about making wooden shoes by hand is making a left and a right one match. Make them match, yeah. I always make one shoe for that reason. And also, some people like me, I think one of my feet are 43, the other is like 42 and a half. Okay, so. yeah, that won't be a big of a deal because of the extra room with the... Oh, what's this for? You used to fight, f fend off the neighbors with a, yeah, yeah, with a yeah, cannon? Yeah, we, we need this. Every wooden shoe factory needs a cannon. All right. <laughs> need a security. So this is called the Badenia Locomobile yeah. from Deutschland. Deutschland. Deutschland, yeah. Oh, you have a little museum in here yeah, too, do you? This is like an authentic house from here, from uh, Marka. This is how the people uh, back in the day used to have their, uh, their houses. It's really small and cozy. And the reason for that is mainly it's that uh, you don't have to heat it that much. I see. You it's see? tiny. Tiny, yeah, yeah. And, and that would be the bed? It's the bed, yeah, yeah. People, they slept like sitting. So this like would this. be for one person? For two people. Other, other. Where's the other one going? The other one goes there, opposite, opposite direction, like this. And you can have a baby crib, could have, they have over here. And here in, no way. And here you could fit two to three more kids. And really practical, right? And this is you, you be. You close it down, and the best thing, when you have to go out of bed at night for some reason, some activities, some activities, you have it next to your bed. Oh wow! I've seen. Um, I was on a ship yesterday, and there too they had like this. Is <laughs> the second time in two days I've seen a unique way that the Dutch. Um, do, do their business at night. <laughs> uh, so there, you're saying one room would be a family house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, Can I try and sit in here without my shoes? Sure. I'm gonna... You can leave your shoes gonna, as well. I'm gonna get the wooden shoes anyway, so... Oh yeah, then you need to take them off. <laughs> All right, there we go. Well, it's not, uh, it's not the ideal family home. No, oh, good night. Uh, yeah. Good night, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what it's like in here then. <laughs> Hey, but there's like a lot of light coming through here. Yeah, but it's, that's not good. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> uh, so are, are you from, um, are you from uh, this village? Is this your? Have no, you grown up I'm here? I'm from the next village, actually. The next it's village not, over. Monikendam. So you grew up in a house similar to this, or? No, I grew up in a real house. Ah, okay. <laughs> Things, times have changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is like 100 years ago. Uh, 
keep all right. like this. And the older people uh, still have it maybe. So now we're going to get down to, to business and get some shoes. What is your finest pair of wooden shoes? And how do I distinguish a fine pair from a, a low quality pair? <laughs> like what? Uh, well, what I sell is all high quality. They're all high quality, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well, in that case, just just uh, point me in the right direction then of your, your yeah, favorite by we, color. We need to first figure out your size. Yep. You said 44, 43, something like that. Yep. So this is? This is uh, 43, 44. 28 centimeters. And That's going to be too big, the isn't it? If you have one finger extra space. Like this? Yeah, it's too big. I have to. Uh, 27, then you can have the fancy ones. Yeah, that's good. How, but how do you walk in this? You like you do you put your like your <laughs> You walk similar <laughs> like flip-flops. You do this with your toe. And then you can just uh, You you cram your toe inside so yeah, they don't yeah, fall yeah, off. Yeah, but you don't think about it. Where it start? But if I don't think about it then uh Yeah, I don't think about it. But you, you probably do. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh man, this is going to take some getting used to. Do you also sell wooden socks? No, uh, woolen, woolen socks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. Yeah, normally we have it together. Uh, we use it together. So maybe you should try it with a pair of socks on. Let's do that. Let's do that. Go full Dutch. So have you seen these? I've worn like shoes that are one of a kind, you know? The Supreme. Yeah, man. These are like the expensive shoes. How do I get a pair of Supremes? Yeah, well, we did a collaboration. It took me so much time to, to do it, you know, it took me so much money. But look how beautiful. Did yeah. you make them yourself? And Nike and everything. Ooh, it's air. Yeah. Oh. See? This really is the creme de la creme of, of Dutch. Uh... Yeah, really. I just made it myself, like with a burner. Well, he did it too. Like, you can just, if you have a really hot burner, you can burn like the letters in there, you can tell it's like deeper than this part. Oh, I see. And I just put dots on there everywhere and then I just follow the dots. And then you put your name Uber on the back? Well, no, this is, <laughs> this is Aue Graftak. That means old, uh, yeah, how, do you, how can you say that the best? It's like a swear, swear word. Oh, it's a swear word? No, ah. not really, but it's like... My first Dutch swear word. Like old people, like if they're really old and they're like, they can't walk really well then, it's an Aue Graftak. <laughs> ah, so you named your shoe after an old man who can't walk well. Yeah, really, actually. <laughs> and I can walk really fast <laughs> on these, you know. Could yeah, you help me out for a second? So, could, could you yeah, hold sure. this for me? No then problem. I'll, as I, uh, I think I need to have these. No? Yeah, or that's better, man. To, uh, Actually, you know. yeah, I, I don't think you have my size. I have a little too big feet, no, but no, you can try if you like. Karen has tiny women feet, so let me maybe try 42. <laughs> yeah. Is I, that I, this one? Yeah. yeah, indeed. You can tell. That's, that's my size. No. Yeah. 42. There you go. Most fashionable Canadian in Holland. You know what's really good about that? If you're in trouble with somebody, you can just give them a pretty hard kick, you know? It will work the best. With your wooden shoe? Yeah, man. I, I, I'm not going to tell you need to do it because uh, no violence, of course, but you know, if you're ever in trouble... That's how you win your fights? Yeah. You just you know, you see the, the kick to the Google you know? Yeah, I think it will uh, hurt you. It will do some damage. Yeah, I, I never <laughs> tried it or filled it before, you know? But. All right. No. <laughs> I think we have my size then. Yeah, yeah, One of yeah. those. I guess now, it's now just. Now we need to decide what color you like. Uh, black ones or the. That's too manly. I like something feminine. <laughs> or like the traditional Dutch ones. What about these ones? With these a... are the traditional Dutch ones. And uh, this design, back in the days, poor people they couldn't afford leather shoes, and that's why they had uh, wooden shoes. And what they did, they painted it like uh, it was a leather shoe. That's. Oh, that's where the design comes from. Design. Let me try one of these in 42 then. Is that yeah. this one? Yeah, that's this. Am I filming? Yes. That's the, the best wooden shoe video ever. Oh, you have some fantastic red ones up there, I see. Yeah, nice, right? Very progressive. Okay. So then we can put yours here. So you trade them without? Deal. Yeah, right. <laughs> they're, they're worth maybe a half a buck. 
Oh, yeah, well, pretty well. <laughs> okay, I like these. I like the look of them. Just not sure I can walk very far in them. But uh, practice makes perfect. Practice right? makes perfect, yeah. Yeah, this is. I think we have the right pair. And you know, when you're a little bit used to them, you can do like dancing a little bit on them. I can do even like a moonwalk uh, with them, you know. Yeah. You can do everything with them. You can moonwalk. You know, and you a little bit of dancing. You're on possibly them. the most uh, skilled Dutchman ever with wooden shoes. Yeah, I can run with them too, man. Like, you fight with them, you moonwalk with them, you run with them. I can do anything with these. <laughs> I'm a professional shoe walker, a wooden shoe walker, right? Okay, so we're leaving mine there then, behind, and then yeah. I'll, I'm going to go for a, a stroll and explore this this Dutch village with uh, yeah, no with problem. these ones. Do you have anything other interesting that you sell a lot of to tourists here? Is it uh, well, like we have like the ones with leather on top. It's for people who don't like wood a lot. They think, oh. Are you telling me there are sellouts who don't like wooden shoes and yeah, and walk around in these? They say, oh, my feet hurt from the wood. Let me get something else. And then they have the ones with leather on top because it feels a little bit. Let me guess. Softer. It's the pesky Brits. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah well, anybody. Some people who work in hospitals also like these a lot because it's really easy to put up, put on your feet, you know. Yeah, I like the legit ones. These are much better. Yeah, I, I always <laughs> say this. And you what? know, the three crosses on there, you can say it's from for Amsterdam. It's not really it's the shoelaces of the shoe. But if you really like to have that Amsterdam oh. shoes. What about, what about these ones? Is this, does this have a meaning as well? It's the signature of the factory it's made. I but see, your, your signature. Time. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay, awesome. Well, how much how much are they going to cost? 37.95. 37.95. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the federal reserves. <laughs> <laughs> Secret. <laughs> and you know what something else really cool. There we go. Just keep it for helping with the video everything. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So, if people want to come here and and buy awesome wooden shoes like I just did. Yes. They what's the easiest way? Uh, but is it, is it by bus? Is it by? It's not that far with a taxi no, from. It's uh, like half an hour from Amsterdam. You can take a bus, or you can go on a tour group, or you can go by car, by boat. It's an island we're on. Or it used to be an island, so all kinds of way to uh, get it. And we're next to the parking lot, so uh, when you're here by car or bus. You find us. <laughs> okay, awesome. Do you have a website or a, or a card then with uh, some details? The wooden yeah. shoe factory marking. Yeah, yeah, all the details, and this is with our Instagram and all right. Facebook and everything. Amazing. Now, I've only ever been to one factory and shop where they have wooden shoes, but I, I already know that this is by far the best wooden shoe factory and shop in all of yeah. not just Amsterdam and Holland, but the Netherlands which is actually the name of the country, yeah, as I learned yesterday. And something really good about these, like in Amsterdam you can sell a lot of these, you find them a lot, but those are all made in China, and every, so everything we sell here is made in the Netherlands, you know? And that's something that we're really proud of. So, so you also have a problem with, with uh, some shops taking in uh, yeah, exactly. cheap, cheaper goods yeah. from, from abroad? So they, they say, oh, we saw them over there for way less. And we say to the people, no, that's, that's because these are not from, the Netherlands and these are you know so that's why these are I think these better yes and it's authentic it's made locally and exactly and they come in stylish colors there is blue <laughs> there is red and could you even if I wanted yellow would that be possible well you have them on your feet right now <laughs> no, it's not proper yellow I mean yeah, it's more well, like proper wood color you could I mean make them in any shoe you know but like if you want a one color, you need to make a lot of them in one time, you know. So we sh should sell them in every size and every color. Okay. You know? So it's always a little bit different. All right. Everything so. is possible with wooden shoes. So. Wow, that's what I love about wooden yeah, shoes. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to go for a little walk in the village then. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. let's see, if maybe I'll be back in a week or so. We'll see if, you know, you've sold my shoes. <laughs> to see what price they fetch. <laughs> see you then. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, this is uh, here's the, the entrance to the shop. They got some bigger wooden shoes. Wooden shoe factory marking. This one comes with uh, an in-house spider, as you can see. 
Should we make him move? No. Oh, there's another one. They look dangerous. Okay, this is actually, I, I just came here for food and then realized, wow, this is actually a video. They have a, they have a wooden shoe tree. Probably the first I've seen anywhere in the world. They have a bridge and here is the entrance called the Beatrix Brug drawbridge. They're not used to vloggers here. So this is the entrance to the whole thing. Now, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'll make one ending here. I'm gonna sign off guys, because my feet are already hurting. These wooden shoes are not... Uh... I'll tell you where my foot hurts. Whoa. It hurts up here. Uh, on, the, on the wrist. I thought it would hurt here in the heel, but it doesn't. Maybe, you know, if we misjudge the size or not, I don't know. But anyway, right here at the Beatrix Brug, Beatrix Drawbridge, is an island with a harbor on the other side, some beautiful cafes, which is very quiet now. Um, normally there's huge Chinese tour groups and so on here, they, they told me in, over at the restaurant, but that uh, is no more, so now it's just uh, some Canadian Germans uh, and the old Dutch tourist that, that uh, gets lost uh, up here. But uh, it's well worth a visit. It is incredibly beautiful over there. I may go over there in my wooden shoes and, and do some filming. If not, this is where it ends. Signing off. How do you do this? It's safety, yeah. Oh, you thought I forgot my camera? <laughs> <laughs> it's called vlogging. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> well, am I? <laughs> Oof. Oof. Mm. Good gammel lax plumjakt. Eple slang. That's what you call it in Norway when you jump into the neighbor's garden and. Uh, and steal apples like I just did. Anyway, these are way more comfortable on the grass. I'm getting used to it. I'm liking these shoes. What are you looking at? <laughs> we're out back here having, actually we're up front, having a running contest. Yeah, man. And this show off, who you know, said that he could moonwalk and do everything with his supreme shoes. He went for a run. Like, my, I can feel the ground with my toe and now this just happened. That just happened now. But yeah, it's refreshing for my feet. It's really good for the feet, you know. Oh, I see. But these are like, yours are like these, you know, as you can see on your shoes. Don't listen to these excuses just because I run faster in my wooden <laughs> shoes. So you, you concede the feet? Yeah, man, I think I need new shoes because of you now. Champion! Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, I can go now. I can be proud. I made, I made uh, Canada and Germany proud. Now I'm signing off. <laughs> this is the beautiful village that I bought the shoes in, which is surrounded by these uh, canals, which you can, I have seen people sit in little rowboats on them. But uh, I'm not gonna find a boat. What I'm gonna do is that right up here, we walked here. Um, it's better to walk in the grass with my wooden shoes. Yeah, let's take this. Let's go, uh, let's go this way. There are some goats here. And I'm gonna feed the goats what I'm now being told is a pear. You know, if you walk on grass, these shoes aren't so bad. They look friendly. I come in peace. Uh oh. Which one of you are deserving? Maybe the, oh, that poor, poor, poor little one in the back there. 
Looks like he hasn't. Oh. Do you like the pear? Oh, no, no, no. Look at that one. At the back. There we go. Oh. New title for this video, Attacked by Goats. There we go. No, 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 not you. <laughs> At the back there. <laughs> this is a, also trying to not get... Okay, you, you deserved it. You deserve it. Take it. There we go. Take it. There we go. Why is this so hard? There we go. Take it. All right. I have to work on my delivery of this pair. Here, take it. Take it. Oh, no. I don't want to lose my hand. Here, take it. Are you going for the Sony? All right, you deserve it. There we go. Oi, I'm, I'm just gonna... <laughs> ah. Okay, we'll throw it in there and then they can, they can deal with it as they see fit. Oh, they don't want it. You need some vegetables in... No, you need some fruits in your diet. Is pear a vegetable or a fruit? I don't know. I never eat vegetables or fruits or pears. I think it's time to get out of here. Let's get a double whopper.